Hello there, welcome. Let's get the music here turned down. And let's uh, cut it off completely. Because we're just about ready to start up. So let's uh, load up our first game. What are we going to be playing? Well, something new. Imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. And that's exactly what we're going to be playing. Darkest Dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. Quests will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress autosaves constantly, so actions are permanent. The game expects a lot of you. How far will you get? So basically, this is a game where we play as... Um, a party leader and we have to lead our group of uh, heroes through the dungeon. I think the sound might be a little loud so I'm gonna take the music down a little bit. <coughs> okay. 
So, without further ado, let's uh, start our campaign. My first journey. along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay. Just waiting for the game to load here. <coughs> there we go. So this is our group. Yes, yes, yes. We can click on a room to go to that room, we can go through the tunnels, it's fine. So this is our group, we have Reynold and Dismas. And uh, we have a torch up in the top of the screen, and that basically decides how well we're going to do. So we're in a room right now, if we want to go to another one. Brigands have run up these lanes, keep to the side path, the hamlet is just ahead. So, now that we're in a hallway, we can start walking. Dispatch this dog in brutal fashion. Find ourselves an enemy. So those dots there in the bottom of the skill determines how um, which skills can be used. So you can see 60 damage modifier. <coughs> well, this only has a minus 15. Plus, it might make him bleed. Um, let's see, Dismas here. It's a known cheat, so he cannot gamble in town. But he has a lot of positive effects. The worse it gets for your units in combat, the uh, the more bad effects they might get. You can see he has insanity now that started growing. So if that gets up, then uh, things start getting bad. He's now bleeding. Well, he's not going to survive. But oh, he might just survive. Luckily, he's just as bad as hitting as we are. Let's try seeing a grape shot. As the fiend falls, and we get some loot and Dismas's insanity went down a little bit Ooh. let's see he is a kleptomaniac which means that uh, he might steal things before we can loot them and he uh, can only pray for stress relief. Hmm. 
Leave nothing unchecked. Got a little more gold. Found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Okay, so we have two enemies here, so it might be a good idea, even though it has less damage, to do the uh, grape shot because it hits both of them. <coughs> oh, we're bleeding. Okay, so a seller's accusation would help both of them. At least it should have. <laughs> Give them another grape shot. Okay. So let's take down the big guy. I'll try at least. Fail too. Take out the back one. Maintain the offensive. Okay, so this is a mechanic of the game. When they die, they leave a corpse. And corpses can be attacked. So these will disappear and will send enemies forward. Oh, that hurt. That made our guy retreat, which changes the way we're standing. So that means that he can no longer use his shots, but instead we can attack him directly. Not victory. Perhaps the turning point. We got some deeds. Those we use in town for upgrading stuff, but we'll see that. Quest is complete. So now we can return to town. Or we can continue our quest. So this here. It's trapped. It's not good. Damage per round for three rounds. Well, the quest is complete, so uh, let's head back to town. And that's the loop we come out with. Gold, food, torches, a jade, which is worth gold and the deeds. So this must uh, got a change here. So let's see what he get. He gets second wind, 10% damage if health is below 50, so an enraged sort of thing. That might be useful. If he had gone down on the other hand he would have gotten a negative effect. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay. So, these symbols here under symbolizes how stressed they are. The higher stress level a unit has, the, um, the more bad their effects will be. Uh, they will perform worse, I believe. But they will also get more negative effects, so you need to give them stress relief in town. Which means you also need someone that uh, can take over for them in case they need to go out in combat so we need to get some uh, some new recruits so if we go to the stagecoach here we can Women see what we have men, soldiers and outlaws fools and corpses we All have will find their way to us now that the road is clear hi there JT welcome we have a plague doctor and we have the uh, Paladin. So let's see, we could... 
upgrade our stagecoach, get some more heroes out of it. Let's see what we have first. So what we're going to take these two. Than the blood battlefield. Then we're going to check out the ancestor memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Here is uh, where we can see all the story bits. But we only have what we've already seen. The prologue. So Ancestor's Path is the next bit. And then we have the graveyard, which is also open to us. Here, Every time these guys dare, death, they will go here. Merciful oblivion. But uh, let's see. We can't go there yet. I think I'm gonna save my deeds possibly. How much would this cost? Uh, Right now we don't have a problem with the hero rest, it's not going to bother with that, but we could get the stagecoach. So let's get that. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Uh, so let's see here. These are all the goals that we need to take care of. The first week here. Is what has happened. So now we can embark on our next quest. A mecca of madness and morbidity. We Your have this one up begins. here. But we need to first build our party. Raynal likes to go first. His preferred position is two or three. Raynal is one or two. He is three or four and she is three or four she has let's see dazzling light divine grace so she really likes to be in position three while well, he is okay in position four okay so i think we're going to put her in position three and him in four he is uh well, he believes that he's possessed by demons. That's probably not good. <laughs> Fear of unholy. So he gets more stress when we're fighting the undead. Also not so good. But he is unyielding. Death blow resist, which is a good thing because when he runs out of health, he goes into a state where he can potentially die every time he's hit. And then there's uh, ruins tactician. So he's good in ruins. She is, uh, or has a nymphomania. So she heals more <laughs> stress in a brothel. Not exactly what you would expect from a paladin, I'd say. <laughs> but okay. However, she is nervous, so she gets more stress as a trade off. And she has slow reflexes, so she's slow in general. So we put in Dismas. Engeran and Reynold. Then we need to take care of provisions. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So, we need to bring provisions each time. Provisions cost money, so we need to be careful, but. Uh, Eight pieces of food, four torches as suggested. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring a bandage as well. Just in case someone gets bleeding effects to try and save them. So Let's embark. Oh. Actually, let's 
look at this real quick. Uh, okay, and redo this. And a bandage. The ruin bear all the signs of ancestors' frenzy digging. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Okay, so we're down here and we need to go somewhere in this dungeon. So let's start wandering. Oh, that was quick. We have been surprised. Uh, let's see, pistol shot. I'd really like for him to get forward. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. She can't do anything in that position, so we're going to move her back. Uh, he can, however, attack. He's going to move forward, so we can have a really soon attack. The same with him. Okay, so she can now attack. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Uh... Move there. Move there. Oh, a trap. I didn't see that. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. We get a torch. So as long as our torch is burning, things will be easier for us. Oh, the next path here has fighting as well, I see. So, we can expect to fight some monsters in the next room. So, I'm thinking he might be the best at disarming traps. Let's have her open this. Blast it all. Uh, what happened to her now? Damage, she got a new negative effect. Minus one speed if health is below. Uh, well, that's the risk you take. Okay, cultist it looks like. Okay, so party heal one to two, heal one three to five, dazzling light or judgment. Let's uh, judge one of these. Seller's accusation. Grape shot. And you can do a plague grenade, which would only hit one, or disorienting blast, or blinding ga bla bla gas. Let's do this. Fortunately, he missed. He's getting a little high on stress now. But she 
you should finish them off. The enemy crumbles. Got some crests. These nightmarish creatures can defend the seal can and gold. Okay. That's not a good way to start the combat. I think blinding gas, because that will hit two. I'll stun them. Okay, we are going to uh, party heal. It's bleeding now. Let's heal again. So we can use a bandage on him, but uh, I'd rather not do that right now. Rather, I want to take those out with another Sailor's Accusation. So the corpses are now in the way, so that means our melee guy can't hit the last one. Whew. Uh, let's party heal one more time with her. And execute a trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Let's move a guy here back again, and then let's uh, continue to the next spot. Got some busts. Oh, we got taken off guard again. Let's see... Grenades go to the back of the line. And she needs to move backwards to even be useful. And he can apparently only hit the uh, <laughs> dead things. Critical hits are worse and more waste than one. That hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. 
That's okay, she can take it. Let's take him out with a pistol shot. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. More combat. Okay, you will heal him. Do a grape shot. Oh, that hurt. I wish I'd seen that torch beforehand. This might be bad. So he's just empowered the group. Uh, let's see, what can we do? It's not helpful. Uh, party heal. stress level a lot. You can take it. That's good. Help the guys. Take them out. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, let's rearrange our guys. Oh, 
Oh no, it's trapped. But he resisted the poison. Okay, we have two choices now. Uh, before we continue, let's light a torch. Fortune smirks. A little bit of gold. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. That damn torch. That hurt. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Oh. Need to heal him. Quickly, the tide. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Heal. Okay, you can finally do something now. And he misses. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Guys are not doing well. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. A plague doctor. More disappointment. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. 
doesn't really have anything here. on to the task's end. Now we're going to stop this quest here. We lost a man already and the last of them are death's door. Oh, this quest did not go well. I was not careful enough with the torches. My room, hall by hall. We reclaim what is ours. Unholy Slayer. He's good against the undead. Scouting chance in Warrens, but she has gotten an affliction. Afflictions are when your insanity goes so high that your um, negative effects become detrimental. We're going to go to the tavern and the abbey. Uh, let's see. Let's see, a seeker. Cove phobe. Stress resist in cove. Heart skinned. More protection. She is a melee close combat barbarian. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. A bounty hunter. Stress eater, so he eats more when he is above a certain stress threshold. That can be bad for an expedition. Uh, he does not like ruins. Stun resistant and improved stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Okay, well, I have no reason not to take him since I have space. The thrill of the hunt. And a grave the robber. Of payment. He cannot meditate. He's good against humans. And he has a natural accuracy. To those okay. with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. It's too bad. Let's see, encourage. One companion reduce stress by 10. Not exactly sure how to use these. <laughs> Hope I'll figure that out. 
Um, well, let us see here. Dismas and Reynolds is definitely going to need some stress relief. So she wants a brothel. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. <laughs> this may sound like a strange request at first, but uh Let's see, increases stress recovery. All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Upgrade those. The cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. Uh, and he the cannot gamble. To the faithful. So we can send him to the bar, however. Let's see what the next quest holds. Okay, so... <clears throat> Unholy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. A scouting whistle. Uh, touch yourself in the mad realm of a fallen ancestor. Highwayman. Well, we didn't have a highwayman, so this one here is a hound master. Uh, bleed amulet. Well, that sounds very good. See, he likes being in position three, or alternatively two. That's not exactly ideal. And he go in the last. Uh, and I did have something for him. Give him more protection. Can't have two of the same. thinking if I should go for this one instead simply because I do not like the thought of going on a long quest without a healer uh, let's see I 
think we'll do that. Oh, a little too much. Take one of those two. And let's see if we can get out of this without one of our guys dying. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Didn't Just see the trap. Okay, nothing here. Combat. Flashing daggers or pick to the face. Impressive. Good way to start. Hook and slice. Take Take him out. Quarter. Uh, daggers or poison darts or lunge or pick to the face. Seeing blow to body and brain. Okay, that makes him jump to the front, that's a little weird. Forward. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Nothing here. Could 
could have used that shovel a moment ago. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> That I want to guys are now at death's door already. being so negative. Okay, we have a combat coming up. Let's light another torch. And here they come. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. We really don't need more critical hits against us. Taunt. Injury and despondence set the stage for terrorism or cowardice. Finish him. He's strong. More blood. Uh. That gives another one. Feeding the evil there. Asshole. Fearful. The 
these nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yes, but right now they're beating us. Light another torch. It's a pile of rubble. Okay, we're going to need another torch before we go in there. Stop making the others insane! <laughs> Damn it! You're not helping the situation! Feast on your heart. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Whew. It's not doing well. We only have one room left to go. But I fear expedition might not be lasting much longer. don't think she can make it, but uh, let's try, and if we die, we'll try again another day. Breath from becoming unwound. 
we go. In the pursuit of glory <laughs> and gold. Defeat. Where there is no peril in the task. There can be no glory in its accomplishment. And that's the first look at All the darkest dungeon. Dungeon. Annoying in the back of my mind, it was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. But these two are now back. Got another seeker. Bounty hunter, a jester, and a plague doctor. But I think we're going to save that for another day. Maybe do another expedition from the beginning next time. I'm fine, quick asking. But yeah, it's a fight for survival. And as they said, heroes are going to die, and we have definitely not been very lucky this time around. So, let's see. Um, however, I think we are going to switch over to the next game now. So, let me just see here real quick. Just do another tweet here, and then we will set up for the next game. We're going to play The Consuming Shadow. And I am going to grab myself a drink real quick, and then we will start up. So be right back. some elderberry juice and we're just about ready to start this is a game by a guy called Ben Croshaw also known as Yahtzee the uh, guy behind zero punctuation game reviews and uh, yes a shadow is trying to enter our world. One of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains. The ritual of banishment. Four runes encountered at Stonehenge will close the gateway. The trouble is, I don't know what the ritual is. If I investigate the strange events heralding the shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have. A maybe. And we're left with the choice here. We can either begin the journey or kill ourselves. Simply, this is too much. I can't do it. Well, 
what we really considered. So if we look inside the files here, we know nothing. So uh, there's nothing to do but start. Let's begin our journey. You have received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. You can find the information you need in towns tainted by the shadow. You might make some immediate headway if you went to Gormoth. Okay. So, Gormoth is the first town, however, it is a bad town. It looks like. Based on the fact that it's red. So, I think I'd rather go to Sumpton first. We are in Sumpton. I feel quite buoyed by the clean air here, and the people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before they catch the shadow's attention. So we can find supplies, wasting one hour, visit the hospital, or return to our car. Well, let's look at supplies. After an hour, I have found the following items. So, improves firing rate, or more ammunition. Uh, I think I'm going to buy some more ammunition. And I'm not going to buy that now. Let's buy another one of them and then return to our car. I've got sightings of an enemy in Almsforth that needs exterminating. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Let's see where we can go. So that's over there we have a quest. We have an unknown town there and a bad town here. Let's go to the town that uh, it told us to go to. Gormoth. So let's head into town. I feel a crackling in the depths of my inner ears and the back of my palms are itching, all of which indicate the presence of magical in energy. It must have leaked through in great amounts from the outlying realms. Magic bleeds through into our realm through rifts and the concentration of it here means that there must be one nearby. Fortunately, one can be opened by the same corrosive entities can be closed. So, let's investigate. Isolating the rough location of the rift was the easy part. Just isolate the strands of magical energy. The appearance of otherworldly creatures then triangulates the point they are all moving away from. A simple set of divinations leads me to a private house in a wealthy area, probably abandoned quite recently. I can feel a ringing in my ears as I walk slowly up the garden path to the front door and I immediately know that I have the right place. So, this is a dungeon. Oh. Wasted a bit of ammo there. So 
So we're now running in limited time. Oh. Forgot you can shoot that as well. Um, no picks. Get three bullets. Let me just see here. Um, switch ammunition on Q or E. Instant rune. Spell casting mode tab. Okay. I can't get in there. Someone left a the key ring here. Hopefully I can open all the doors now. Well, that's useful. That means we can go over here. The resort was closed down after complaints from the visitors that the world famous anti anxiety treatment, consisting chiefly of chanting the words ZU, was causing headaches and strange nightmares. Okay, but ZU. Strange calm. The calming dates back to at least 3000 BC, uh, 6000 BC, and depicts uh, Yuck paying blessings and tribute to a figure labelled the God of Madness. Its value as an antique is unfortunately meager. So, Yacht is the god of madness. So, Yacht is the god of madness. So, first clue. Stop using so much ammunition. There's a dental own cat, but here four bullets. Okay. So that's basically the gist of the game. Um, we are looking for clues as to what ancient evil are invading us, and we need to find out everything about them. So that means who it is, what their color is, what their rune is, what their aspect is, and what their agenda is. Their agenda is just to confirm that we have the right god, because there's three different ones. There's the invader, the invader's ally, and the enemy. Not that either of them would be good, but only one of them is coming. Oh. There is the uh, the rift, but we don't yet have all the information that we need. Uh. Ah. Stop shooting me! I've recovered three armor-piercing bullets, which seem to have been held as a keepsake or a trophy. Interestingly, the name Ktoth, as well as the associated symbol, is only ever inscribed in purple pigment. To, the, uh, to do otherwise is considered ultimate blasphemy, so Ktoth is the purple god. Ktoth. 
Toth is purple. Okay, so... In the case of a full rune incantation, the third rune denotes the recipient of the spell. In the banishment ritual, for example, it would be the rune of the creature being banished. Okay, so we need the banishment ritual as well as their rune to banish them. Okay, so now I need to return to the car, but there is something after me now. Ooh. Ah. Something is following me. The town is not immediately improved any more than a flood zone would be simply because the rain has stopped. But my contribution is made. Time to move on. So we're back in the car now. And uh, we've used some hours. Now it's time to find the next place. We know there's a dungeon over here, or at least something we need to take care of, so we could head there next. Monsters has been sighted. We need to get down there in 60 hours, so let's start out. An unknown number. I will pull out your bones and drink the marrow as your remains twitch and burble at my feet. Okay, that was not very nice. I lost the sanity. As I stop briefly at a junction, a harassed looking young man is in rumbled clothing runs to my window and pleads for a ride between laboured breaths. He says that there are dark forces at work in one of the safe towns and it is virtually impossible uh, important he gets there his hand is nervously rattling at my passenger side door which I have shrewdly been keeping locked so should I let him in or drive on he could be dangerous uh, let's do it in good faith Before I could even finish voicing my consent, the stranger hauled me out of the driver's seat and into the road. I could only watch paralysed with shock as he made his escape in my car. For two miserable hours I walked along the roadside before recovering my car, abandoned in a hedgerow with the door open. To make matters worse, the engine had suffered some damage I could no longer go at top speed. That's what you get for being kind. One word for you, twinal, as in go there, something's not right and it may be worth a look. Okay, we are in the town, so let's enter. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle could go either way. I prepare to lend my efforts to the resistance. A small portable first aid kit. 
I've recovered some dusty jewellery I estimate to be worth about two pounds. Thankfully, my con small contribution has been enough to turn the tide and I am able to give advice on future defence. The local authorities are grateful and when I none too discreetly mention the posted reward, seem happy to pay it promptly. I feel quite boy by the clean air here and the people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before they cast the shadow's attention. Well... I need to have a look around. Prevents anxiety. Need to buy some ammunition. Let's just stack up on them and then return to the car. see Twinal has problems but it's sort of out of the way um, I think going to Waterchester Get a text. Stock up on ammo whenever you can. If you run out of it in the field, you may just have to flee. And that's another time lost. You have some intel that urgently needs to get to something within nine hours. There is some extra cash in it for you, if you're willing. going to drive back there, sorry. Okay, let's see. I think this is a bad town. So, uh, well, let's check it out. The taint upon this town brings to mind work of a medieval plague. There are people wandering the streets bent almost double, as if an invisible weight clings to their backs. I saw a tarpaulin in the street covering a huge mass, from which something that may once have been a limb excludes. Something far worse than a generalized taint has caused this. This is all coming from a source, a loose, poorly handled magical artifact left to leak its foul energies into anything around it. This vileness is almost visibly radiating from a building in the uh, dilapidated part of town. It seems to have undergone a fire, which may well have been caused by the misuse of the object I seek. It must be recovered. I am willing to take the risk. Thankfully, the vile air in this place makes my mind heavy and confused, which goes some way to suppress the aching terror I should feel at the prospect. Filed, find and recover an occult text. Found a discarded wallet containing six pounds. Kist 
Christos was the name of a Cambodian trickster deity known as the god of madness. Uh, devotees were few and short lived. Katar's purpose, nature, could fl fl flit between hostile, benevolent, and indifferent with no more warning or reason. Okay. Katoth is the goddess of madness. So, oh, mistook the first knock one, so. We do not know this one, but we know that the uh, invader's ally that might suggest that he is the invader, but we don't know yet because the ally of the other one would also be the ally of this one, so this could still be the invader, but these two are now one of the invaders. Oops. That's strange. A single diary page has been stuck here. No time to read it now, but I'll hang on to it. Found diary page three. The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the rune commonly pronounced as Gz. Each one dabbed it on it in a chalky purple paint by what I sincerely hope were human fingers. Okay. So. Gz. So now we know everything about Ketoth. That's a good thing. If he is the invader, we could banish him now. But that would be a guess. <laughs> Shim rune has been inscribed on the wall here in purple. A generic prayer to a god, not necessarily in, uh, the god preventing perverting this place. It could be intended for an associated deity. Some reason a perfectly functional lockpit has been left here, purpose, uh, perhaps to be recovered later. The animosity is rooted in the suffering reportedly endured by worshippers of Nyx, um, while well, captured by the cult of Katoth. Katov worshippers seem to tell the story the other way around. So we know that Nyx is now the enemy. Is the enemy. Start. My recording device picked up the chanting of some kind of mantra intended to ward off evil. It was hard to make out. It was hard to make out, but the first part definitely sounded like gzz. is lost to the shadow of nothing I could have done can change that but perhaps with what I have recovered here this will finally be the last Whew. okay so 
let's uh, move further ahead. Finsboro, Blessholm, or Billsrow. I think Finsborough. In silhouette, a figure by the side of the road seemed to take on several monstrous qualities until it was illuminated by my headlights and I could see that it was an old man hunched over and clad in trailing rags, flagging me down. He leans close to the car, and I get a complete view of his cracky face, his mad staring eyes and the crossed gathering at his mouth and nostril. With a gap-toothed grin and a bony hand gesture, he seems to want me to open my window. That does not sound very good. <laughs> the moment the window is sufficiently open, the man, uh, the man's unconvincing smile disappears, and he makes a grab for my face. His hand fastens around my eyes and he starts chanting what I believe to be Latin. I catch the words to fui ego iris before I shake him off and floor the accelerators. I escape physically on hand but mentally shaken from the encounter. Oh, the herd of sanity. Okay, we are now in Finsborough. Which looks to be a bad town. But we still need more information, so let's head into town. Reports have reached me of a mysterious pest rising up from the ground at numerous places. Too large to be rats, not to mention too aggressive to and too organized. A situation like this is just the first sprouting seed of a total invasion by the shadow. It starts with petty nuisances, killing peasants, ruining crops, and sooner or later it escalates to missing people being found half devoured. I must root out the nest before it reaches that point. So now we see the first insanity effect here. Buttons started to be interchanged for kill yourself. So we must make sure not to click that. <laughs> The townspeople's concern seems to center around an office building, and apparently it was evacuated for an extermi extermination early in the crisis, but has not since reopened. Furthermore, no one can confess to having seen any of the exterminators come out. It must be the location of the nest. These creatures do not have the sophistication, the sophistication for misdirection or subterfuge. Find and destroy the nest. Another victim of the shadow, something must have torn their bowels and lower torso piled in a state of animalistic frenzy. The kiss rune has been inscribed on the wall here in orange, a generic prayer to God, not necessarily the God perverting this place, it could be intended for an associated deity. Ah, 
Uh, the animosity is rooted in the suffering reportedly endured by a warship of Ketoth while captured by the cult of Nyx. Nyx warship seems to tell the story the other way around. Okay. So, Nyx is the enemy of Ketoth and Ketoth is the enemy of Nyx. Well, that didn't really tell us anything. Who picks? Okay, I found the keys. Warsubers consider it a grave insult to draw Qatar's symbol in white, as this is the colour associated with one of their oldest and bitterest rivals. Okay, that means that Nyx is white. Stop that. Nothing worth taking. The carving dates back to at least 6000 BC and depicts Ketoth praying. Uh, paying blessings and tribute to a figure labelled the Ghost of Lusts. Its value as an antique is unfortunately meagre. So, Ketoth is an ally of the God of Lust. So that means, not this, but aspect that this is the God of Lust. Killed 10 enemies, found 8 clues, no items, and I completed 2 dungeons. So let's see what we have found. Found a diary page. Page 3. Tuesday. 900 AM. Hurt back from the two hauntings. One came up empty, the other was the classic, classic cheating spouse scenario. Haven't heard back from Walker. Who was looking into the forest, the forest disappearance? Uh, that's a little unusual. Walker's been at this long enough to know the importance of checking in. Then again, we all get complacent. 
200 p.m. F was waiting in my office when I got back from lunch, asking if I'd looked at the sky. For the last two days it had been completely overcast and the clouds have been as dark as storm clouds, but it hasn't rained at all. He seems to think this was predicted in the tablets he showed me. There's a, fa a fairly clear reference to a darkening of the skies in the end of times. So, we now have a 1.58% completion. <laughs> That's not a lot. But uh, we managed to find a few on here. We have the coffer. The coffer is a blank piece of paper. But that is the walking cough, I think, that like bleh, stuff up. The spitter, on the other hand, was the, the one that shoots globs. We know a little more about that. We know that the spitter bears a close resemble. Then we have the soldier buzzer, that is the uh, fly that we saw. Soldier buzzers are the la... The puker. There are few creatures as disgusting as the puker, I guess. Uh, Floater is the big round thing that splits into two. The creature termed the floater while manifesting is something. Ghost. Know very little of that, but uh, I think that was the spooky thing that chased me out one of the dungeons. The fat man. We knew virtually nothing there. So that is the consuming shadow. A game that is currently available through Humble Bundle, but can also soon be bought on Steam as soon as Yahtzee get its release there, it's been greenlit and is coming with even extended content. Now the question is, should we try for another go at this or should we shift over to another game? What do you think TT?
I think I want to try something different. So let's shift over to something a little less dark. We're going to be playing this. fallen human. Bottom of the mountain fallen from the top. Huh, a flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work. Just turn down the sound a little bit. I guess little old me will have to do. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. What's level stand for? Well, love. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move round. Get as many as you can. Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Okay. Uh-oh. You idiot. 
in this world kill or be kill why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this die What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operations of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between division, diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sights of them. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones, foolish one, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. Press C to read signs. Or enter, apparently. Stay on the path. Please press the switch, Toriel. Please press this switch too. Splendid. I am proud of you. Little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, that will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple, how do you do? You could ask them about their favourite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. <laughs> well, I thought it was amusing. You encountered the dummy. Attack zero, defense zero, a cotton hard and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. The dummy looks like it's going to fall over. You talk to the dummy. It 
doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero experience and zero gold. Ah, very good. You're very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Frogget attacks you. Um, compliment. Frogget didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> you won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Thank you, Toriel. Okay, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. I think we need to remember the pattern on the road. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. And then up, and right, and right, and down, and right. And up, and right. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for you now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you this cell phone. If you have need of anything, just call. Be good, alright? So now we just wait here. left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Playfully crickling through the leaves fills you with determination. Frogget hopped close. 
um, compliment. <coughs> Rocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Rip. Rocket seems reluctant to fight you. Life is difficult for this enemy. Hop hop. Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. You won. You earned zero experience and two gold. Rip it, rip it. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Rip it. Wimson approach weekly. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Oh, what's this? It says, "Take one, take a piece of candy." You took a piece of candy. See to open the menu. Monster candy. Take one, take a candy. No, oh, they already took one. Frigid, frigid hopped close. I didn't understand what I said, but I was flattered anyway. Seems reluctant to fight me. Zero experience until gold. down. Oh, I see. Frogget didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. 
Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Okay. There's a frog under it. Don't step on the leaves. Two frockets. Oh. Frocket doesn't seem to know why it's here. one more What a meaningful conversation. Bubbles quietly. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> oh. Ruminating. Was it buried now? One gold. Oh, there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, press this. It's the, kind of the wrong way. Hmm? That's the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Was that helpful? Hey! <laughs> hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Are things easier when you just ask? Slime sounds. Oh. The aroma of lime and gelatin swap through. What's 
horses. This cheese has been here for quite a long time, it's stuck to the table. sleeping here. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying C out loud repeatedly pretending to be asleep. Move it with force? No. no I don't want to force it. Yourself. Call her mom, Flirt. Is this Toriel? Huh? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. Okay. This is Toriel. You only want to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> This is Toriel. You want to know about more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Duty. Welcome back. Here comes Napster Luke. Flirt, cheer, or threat. Attacked and defenders, this monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humour. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh! Ah! <laughs> now to look as wishing they weren't here. He gave Nap to look a patient smile. Hey! Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Naptolic looks just a little bit better. Flirt? I just weigh you down. Naptolic looks just a little bit better. You 
turned out to a good little joke. <laughs> Cheering seems to have improved enough to look smooth again. Naptolog wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Look. Do you like it? Naptolog eagerly awaits your response. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. This way then. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. Spider scrolled down and gave you a donut. Leave 18G in the web. I don't have that much. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Hello. Ribbit ribbit sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk they just skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Rip it, rip it. I heard using a four can make you have a full screen. But what does a four stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least, rip it. Rip it, rip it. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now monsters wear a yellow name when you can spare it? What do you think of that? Very helpful, it's bad. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Bring <laughs> yeah, if you leave stuff in the fridge for a month, things can't get that uh, interesting. Hello! I just realised that it has been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room to leave room in your pockets for that. Look strewn here. Pick on or don't pick on. I want to pick on him. Uh. Look is this gazing at you. I earned five gold.
There's just one switch. Hmm? There's just one switch. Look straight in the air. Lux is staring right through you. This over here looked interesting. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Check devour dinner talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Vegetoid's here for your health. Fresh horny taste. Ah. I don't want to fight you. Found locally, very locally. a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Spare. Oh, another vegetoid. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Someone gets it. Oh. Looks is gazing at you. A faded ribbon. I wonder what that is. Let's see. Armor defense three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Okay. Oh, me guys crawl close. I don't care. Oh my, oh my. What's my waste piece, Andy? It's 
seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Legion, we are Legion. Nothing like alone time. Migash doesn't have a care in the world. Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! Got two gold. Dinner. Eat your greens. A switch, press it. Uh, probably not yet. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Switch. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hmm. Okay then. Finally, someone gets it. If you can read this, press the blue Schmidt switch. Look through near. Looks is staring right through you. Mercy, la la la, just be yourself. Doesn't have a care in the world. Yeah, so that means the blue switch is right here. Yes. A pair of vegetoids came out of the ground. Vegetoids offers a healthy meal. Ah! 
smells like steamed carrots and peas. Farmed locally, very locally. Dinner. Eat your greens. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Okay, so now we can make this one go away, and that makes the other one happy. Yay! If you can read this, press the green switch. Don't pick on. Quit staring at me. Ooh, uh. Finally someone gets it. See the green one is over there. So that means here. What's up here? Oh dear. That took longer than it should. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Oh. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So, I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Resetting there for a second. <laughs> I didn't want to go to bed so soon. Yeah, 
Hey, I have another surprise for you. This is it. I hope you like it. These cool toys, they don't interest you at all. <laughs> Room under renovation. It's Toriel's diary. Read this circle's passage. down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Mm, okay. Sweet dreams. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. Well, I guess since Toriel's set to, let's go over and take a nap in our bed. found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Up already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have you here. There's so many old books I want you to share, uh, that I want to share. <laughs> I want to show you my favourite buck hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Nothing. Talk to me again if you need anything. <laughs> the size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. All HP. isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hands inside. Mm, that might be a little much. <laughs> What's in the basement? I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay. Maybe we'll have a look outside. I wonder what's this way. Hi, Froggit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We are all too intimidated to talk to her. Rip it. Toy knife. 
Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you only open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Scandalous, it's scandalous historical sub drawer. Just a regular bucket of snails. <laughs> Toriel's small chair, its name is Cheriel. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. about the book I am reading. It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Nothing. Well, we seem to be going in a loop. Loop. So I have to do something. Um, stay here. Seems like the right size for Toriel. The ends of the tools has been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier of a fearful and fear well, trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Where did Toriel go? to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way access to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Feels like it's sort of forcing me. 
you know what? not in her room. Is she in the living room? No. Maybe she's still working in the basement. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, the Ascor will kill you. Only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Okay. Try to stop me. This is your final warning. I've been trying to go back. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Tutorial blocks the way. Couldn't think of conversation topics. Whoa! Tutorial prepares a magical attack. He knows best for you. <laughs> Toriel is acting aloof. You tried to think of something again to say, but... Ah! Toriel looks through you. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I don't want to fight. Ah! Toriel looks through you. you. Uh, 
that is right, go upstairs. Already? Toriel blocks the way. Toriel is acting a loop. Takes a deep breath. She will not kill me. Please, wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters.
Oink, huh? So you only have one choice. Before I do that, I need to make sure that I don't have some other option to follow. I don't see any other option left to me other than attacking her, and I really don't want to do that. Service very clean, totally uses fire magic instead. For some reason there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Some white first stuck in the drain. this uh so so is there any way to get by toriel here without having to fight her I really don't want to fight her
to see some progress now. It'll uh, ruin anything if I've already damaged her a bit. I did try to attack her, but I don't want to fight her. I was asking if there was anything, uh, or if it was going to do anything bad that I attacked her, because I tried that as a way out. Please go upstairs now. I promise I would take good care of you here. Do you not know that we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Well, that's good. <coughs> Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? Cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. In the ruins of every small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. Yeah, I tried that. I went back to my room a lot of times and it starts talking to you and telling you to go and... However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. really not come back once you leave this place? Hmm. 
Is that in the last we'll see of Toriel? something. Well, I guess we'll just have to continue on our path, see where it takes us. Oh no, another of those flowers. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die. And you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely in this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Hmm. Oh, what's that? It's a tough looking branch. It isn't too it's too heavy to pick up. should probably have avoided breaking that. But that's creepy. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. 
quick behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Very convenient. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have a look. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Um, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you are lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why don't someone as great as me have to do much just to get some recognition? Well, it sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! <laughs> ah. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Extremely conveniently shaped. some sort of checkpoint or a sentry station but there are bottles of ketchup mustards and relish sitting inside actually hey hate to bother you but can you do my a favor i was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately he's never seen a human before and seeing you might just make his day don't worry he's not dangerous even if he tries to be Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. He says and walks backwards. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Okay. Well, let me see what I have. Spider donut. Heals 12 X HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Heals 10 HP. Already been used several times. Butterscotch Pilot's full HP. Made of plastic rare a rarity nowadays.
tough club. Weapon, five attack. A worn pink leather glove for five fingered folk. Well, if it's a pink glove, even though it's a weapon. Creepy looking bird. <laughs> Snowflake flutters forth. Laugh, heckle, or joke. Six attack, two defense. This team can first keep captive audience. Macaroni and freeze. Well, that's just cheesy. Ha ha ha. Realizes its na <laughs> realizes name its own name is a pun and it is freaking out. You laugh at Snow Great Flakes pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Oh You won! Twelve gold. Attached to it is it's a, the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Who it is? So, as I was saying about Undyne. Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? Actually, I think that's a rock. Ew! Hey, what's that in the front of the rock? Oh my god! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular! <clears throat> human! You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Ice cap struts into view. Steal, ignore, or compliment? Mm, compliment? It has a great hat. Ah! 
Ow! Here comes that new flow smell. Um. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Cup is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Mm, steal its hat? But it's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! Oh. Compliment! Continue not looking at the hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Oh. It's desperate for attention. There's some narration on the cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who would have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a, ver not yet a very famous royal guardsman. But we're not very far away, so... Uh, let's heal up. <laughs> As I screwed that fight up a little bit. You can really call it a fight. Oh, look who it is. Well, I know how to deal with you now. I'm gonna ignore you. Hello, my hat's up here. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. You continue not looking at the Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Desperate for attention. Spare you. Snowflake flutters forth. So you said to joke rather than laugh. Well, let's try it. Make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. What are you laughing at? Ah! It's asserting its crowd. Make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Ah! Inserting the crowd. Okay, so see, it needs you to check it out and then laugh at its joke. So now we can laugh. See, laugh? Dad, what's wrong?
Yay! <laughs> well, um, let's heal up again. <laughs> now that I figured out how to do that fight properly. Check it out. Fight you in cold blood. Thanks, you're gr all great. Now we just have to dodge. And we can spare it. Continue not looking at it. Fine, I don't care. It's desperate for attention. You won! Absolutely no moving. <laughs> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies includes squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. <laughs> what? I've been pet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy, is that you? Come on. Someone's been smoking duck treats. Hello there. Hey. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs ribbon with yellow. Thank you very much. North Ice, South Ice, West Ice, East Snowden Town and Ice. Alrighty then. Oh, snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveller, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Okay. Thank you. Good luck.
Heals 45H, 45 HP. Please take this to the end ends of the earth. Well, he asked me not to well, to take it there, so I'm not gonna eat it. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arise! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. Think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a healthy sap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Okay, then. Incredible, you slippery snail. We've solved it so easily. It's too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything since. Keeps calling it his battle buddy. Man, isn't my brother cool? Well then, I don't understand why these are in selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G. Sure. There you go. Have a super duper day. You got ni the nice ice, the nice cream. <laughs> oh look, he's all happy. <laughs> nice cream. Heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Um, really? How about 5000G? Ah, uh, I don't have that much. I have to pay for the raw materials somehow. There's snow everywhere. like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Or snow decahedron. Ah. 
out. Don't melt. Don't melt. Yay! Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of bowl. You were awarded 2G. Twirling your original style pulled you through. You're awarded 2G. Hey, there's that way, so let's check this way first. <coughs> His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman, white racing can become yellow rating. On suspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smells of rolling around. Weird smell, human, scream rating, destroy at all costs. They're riding green and it says red. Ugh. All the way around. The writing green and it is red. Human, I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, underground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Assuming that I have to find the words in this, but uh, I'm not sure how to actually trigger it. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops! I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easy is easily the best. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? <laughs> um, jumble, I guess. Humans must be very intelligent if they so all if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumble stumped to trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> It's a nose from papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. 
You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly jabbed against again by the great papyrus. Nyahaha! <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the plate to the table. Warning! Dog marriage! Okay... Lesser dog appears. <laughs> Five types of petting? You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Pant pant. This a dog is barking excitedly. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Something up there and to the right. Over here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your, your smells. <laughs> well, I know they can't see me. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Gami and Dogarissa Rush sniff, roll around or pet. The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Pause off you smelly human. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ah. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Um The dog sniff you again. You just smell just as weird as before. Smell mystery, what is that? Oh Ah The dog's saying sickly sweet things to each other. Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. How am I supposed to avoid this? Um. Can't really do that. give up just yet. Stay determined. Here we are again. So we know the 
switch is over here. Lizard dog. Pet the dog. Identify your smells. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate, eliminate you. So we roll around. Smell like a weird puppy. I really don't know how to avoid that. The dogs may want to re-smell you. So re-sniff now that I've rolled around. After rolling in the dirt you smell alright. That smells like a yeah, actually a little puppy. Dogs think you are maybe a lost puppy. So now we pet. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. The other one? What about me? The dog's minds have been expanded. You won! 40 gold! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. <laughs> Turn every X into an O. Press, then press the switch. Did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it or left it? Huh. Is there any left for Pap Papyrus? Not sure what I should answer here. Aided could be complimenting his trap. Left it, well, that could mean any sort of, uh, like there's stuff left for him, like he's referring to. Not really sure. Just to say the truth. Really? Wowie. 
You resist as the flavour of my home cooked pasta. Just so you just so you could share it with me. Fret not human, I am Master Chef Papyrus. We'll make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human! Hmm. How do you s do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, We'll solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. solved it. My advice helped. It really helped you. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. I. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Just solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change colour. Each colour has a different function. Red tiles are impassable, you cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric, they will electrocute you. 
green tiles are the alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also sap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How it? How was that? Understand? Uh, sure. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. That has never been seen before. Not even I know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Okay. Well, pink is okay. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for its turn to be... Uh, waiting for it to turn into art. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians. Aware of dog. Plus pet dog. Alrighty, sir. That dog considers itself an artist, but it doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kipple. Look, it's a papyrus statue. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it in red marker. <laughs> oh! Okay. Almost. This way here, and this is where I messed up. I'm going this way around. Welcome back, sir. Did I have a hat on?
<laughs> What's this way then? Still cute. It's the greater dog. Uh, pet? Too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Ah! It's barking at me. <coughs> okay, so it's too far away, so we back in it. You call the greater dog, it bounces towards you, flicking slobber into your face. Ah! Ah! Greater dog is seeking affection. Headed. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. That means it wants to play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks it picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh. Turning white just before. Pretty dog wants some TLC. So I guess petting it again? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Ah. Let's see what's down here then, since the other way has a dog on it. What's up? There's eyes. Say, are you following me? Okay. Gift Trot confronts you. Decorate, undecorate, or gift. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Okay, so it wants to be undecorated. You remove a childhood photograph of Snow for Snow Buff Snowdrake and his parents. That's a little better. Is slightly less irritated. Um, undecorate again. You smell, you remove a small confused dog. That's a little better. Ah. Slightly less irritated. Undecorate. A lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. 
a weight has been lifted. Its problems has been taken away. I'm going the wrong way here. It's a door. seem to do anything. Remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Slightly less. Way has been lifted. Wait. There must be something special about the door.
Sure, you can't open it. It would be weird to put it in, but it's probably some weird, elaborate puzzle. I feel like it, should, it has something to do with the eyes, but I'm not sure. Let's save before we uh, confront the big dog. <laughs> fall off this. It's a snow poof. And this is a snow poof. This however is a snow poof. Surprisingly it's a snow poof. What a tiny dark house. Poof. Snow poof. Is it really a snow poof? Behold, a snow poof! Hey, there's 30g inside. What is this? Huh. This animation with the big dot coming out of the snow, it just reminds me of that... Um, that weird cartoon that you see pop up on Twitter every once in a while. Two frame comic with a dog sitting inside a burning house. Just sitting all completely oblivious to its fiery surroundings. And the other frame is zooming in on his face and says, This is fine. <laughs> so we beckon. Seeking affection, pet. It gets comfortable. It falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Ah! <laughs> it wants to play. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Great, the dog picks it up. Uh, all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Great, the dog wants some tender loving care. So we pet it. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But, you still haven't pet enough. Pet cap capacity is 40%. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, 
I love that it has small happy dog faces on everything on its fist or something, its spear. Um, check on it. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. So I guess we're ignoring it now. Inches closer. <laughs> Much closer. Check on it. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Ah. Um, pet. You pet decisively. The pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. <sighs> Great, the dog is contented. You won! You earned zero experience and 40 gold. <laughs> and all their faces turn happy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> That's just amazing. Oh, best fight yet. Oh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. What's with the dog? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will s spikes will sp swing, and blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! That uh, doesn't look very activated. Yes, but what I mean is, why is there a dog and what is deadly about it? Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. You. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Uh, what was the problem with the blue attacks again? Welcome to Snowden. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination.
Hello, traveller. How can I, uh, can I help you? Counter chat. Hiya. Uh, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Mm, isn't that the light blue ones? Like the teal ones? Or do they not distinguish between teal and, uh, and blue? You want to know what to do in Snowden? Gillsby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long oh, story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fussy folk decided that they liked the call and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, I didn't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all keep it. We all deep down. Uh, eh? We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth. We can grit our teeth and face uh, the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Manly bandana, it has apps on it. <laughs> bicycle? Uh, a bicycle. <laughs> it's like an icicle, but two! Cinnamon bun. Heals 22 HP. It's my own recipe. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I have a feeling everything fills us with determination. Mom says the sleeping can recover your health upon no maximum health. What's maximum health? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden Premier Hotel. One night is 80 gold. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Yeah, but I have a lot of heals already, is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. I only have eight spaces and I already have a spider donut, bandage, butterscotch pie and an ice cream. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That's convenient. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Is the way she holds out her butt? Isn't my little cinnamon just the, the cutest? 
Bun buns are so adorable. Tee <laughs> hee. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Um. <laughs> Apparently all kids wear striped shirts. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish a lady about it. That's politics. Oh, look! It's all our buddies. But I hope I watch you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people, help. I want new drinks and a oh, hard guys. Hmm, isn't a human food different from monster food? It doesn't seem like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. I'm thinking of getting a spike color to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leech to me and take me for a walk, please. awesome. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh, the dogs are awesome. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Are a fish. <coughs> Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by the Undyne. She's rude and loud and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Dot 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 dot. Grilp said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they are going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. On slip onto their butts. Slipping into the buses to come thing else entirely. The jukebox is broken. <laughs> Everybody is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Deary, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Oh look, it's Snow with a moustache. Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, 
Let's play Masters and Humans. You aren't going to make me play human again, are you? Beautiful knock. Maybe if I could, if I don't answer, it'll, I'll hear it again. <laughs> ah, my patience re rewards me. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh, there's so many funny jokes in this game. <laughs> Library. I love working at on the newspaper. There's so little to, little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me were uh, searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these to exist. Monster history part four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved the harsh cold, damp swamplands, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old, kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favourite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Um, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Uh, a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am writing this book. A person comes in, picks up the book, they start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still wait writing that one. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of the enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, let's send the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamplands and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. <laughs> library. <laughs> it's a mailbox overflowing with honorary junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Um, sure, it's empty. Be 
before we go in there, what's in here? It's locked from the inside. It's locked. Well, I guess I'm continuing then. Um. You know what? Before I go into the wide unknown... I'm just going to use this conveniently placed safe marker. Alright, sir. see what happens. I don't particularly like that it just turns white. Oh look it's Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No! No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. <laughs> I can make spaghetti. I have zero rede redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. Um, okay. Let's uh, flirt again. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. Just thinking about what to cook. Uh, check. He likes to say nya ha ha nya ha ha Dap some bone cologne on his ear or behind his ear So you won't fight, then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Easy. Hey. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> Too busy fighting to fight back. It's 
suddenly introducing new mechanics. <laughs> A higher Staps MTT brand anime powder behind his ears. Okay. Well, I'm not thinking about a day thing. Papyrus Staps MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh. Papyrus stops MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. I can almost take my future popularity. Hey. Cheeky. <laughs> see friend Yokut behind us here. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh! Ah! Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Unparalleled Smackator! Ah! Ah! Hey! Smells like bones! Undone will be really proud of me! Papyrus is considering his options. King will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ah! Ah! It's repairing a bone attack. Brother will well he won't change very much. Ah that was a hard to avoid. Ah prepares a non burn attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Will anyone like me sincerely as you? Ah! Hey! Cheeky! Rose is trying hard to play it cool. Someone like you is really rare. Ah! Paris prepares a non burn attack and then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Yeah, I tried flirting. Uh, it just says that he's too busy, busy fighting to flirt. And dating might be kind of hard. Paris is rattling his bones. After your captures and send away. Ah! <laughs> Papyrus remembered a bad joke, Sans told, and is frowning. Aw. Flirt. to fight him. Ah! 
しいしConsidering his options, um, is your last chance before my special attack? <clears throat> Fighting to flare back still. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. wants to fight. can't defeat me. I'm not sure I actually had to fight him. Yeah, I can see you're shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. And now your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Yeah, ho oh, oh. ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend's quantity will remain stagnant. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful parcels and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants a human, wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the King's Castle. The King of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you could just say... Excuse me, Mr. Drimmer, can I please go home? 
to guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being cool friend. Being a cool friend. Uh, feel free to come by and have it that date. <laughs> Well, I'm certainly going to have to heal up. <laughs> and probably buy some healing out items now. Twenty-two HP, but once. Come again. The sight of such a friendly turn fills you with determination. I like the quick tunnel, it's a very good idea. <laughs> so you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. My house! <laughs> we were just there. This is my brother's pet rock. He's always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. This is a it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say bring it back to my room? Forget it. Welcome to the scenic, uh, the scenic in my house. Enjoy and take your time. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> You touch the cat. It makes a jangling sound. Jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Oh, it's my favourite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. It's a trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How sad. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? 
catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans! Stop plugging my life with incidental music! <laughs> oh, what the... Forget it! Ah, interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers are all labelled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's my room! If you're finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh, not quite yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door's locked. Yes! So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin date? Not quite yet. Take your time, I'll wait for you. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. <coughs> the internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There's no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That bug is one of my favourites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That's next puts another one of my favourites. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. The end is always gets me. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flak neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons! <laughs> That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to take a drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin... Of course, that's just a dream. So instead of a cruise, instead I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start a date? Hi, kitty! Welcome! Begin date! Okay, dating start! Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snacked an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press C key on your keyboard for dating hut.
Wow, you feel so informed. I think I'm ready for step two. I love the radar with the dark symbol. <laughs> Ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair? You're wearing clothing red right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Um... Yes. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Nya! Nya! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? It's spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it take a small bite. Your face reflexingly scrunches up. The taste is, uh, is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now! You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. 
human, I... I'm sorry. I didn't like you the way you like me romantically. I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, why the great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you th through these, fe <laughs> these trying at times. I'll keep being your cool friend. An act like this all never happened. After all, you were very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> uh, so we managed to date a skeleton. Nobody picking up from Toriel. Ring ring. Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? I'm petitioning to change the slogan. that we have made ourselves a new friend I think it's time that we uh, head it out a little bit <coughs> out into the white Oh, before we do, Kitty, I want you to meet a friend. Let's just head back into town. I go into the inn. No, wait, it's actually not the inn we're going to. We're going to the tavern. So we're here. Look at our big friend here. <laughs> that is a little teaser for you, Kitty, because uh, you're going to want to watch the start of this game. So let's head out of town again and see where it takes us. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, 
Don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill these. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hi Sans, hi Sans. Greeting Sans, hey Sansy. Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on these seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burger? Um, burger, I guess? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Will be. We'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you were that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in, his, in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want, to, want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool enough. You have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they will repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. <laughs> by the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot.
Heading out of town again. Let's hang out again sometime. And I think with that, I'm going to call it an end here for today because I've been going now for a lot of hours so uh, thanks to everyone that showed up and I hope you enjoyed it I do suggest that uh, if you didn't make the start of it that you do either watch the video and the amount of wait for it to go up on YouTube because I did try a couple of uh, interesting games some going more well than others, but I will return to them at another stream. Not tonight though, it's getting a little late. So it will have to wait until another night. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Play for two more hours? It's already one o'clock at night. <laughs> if you really want, I can continue. I'm not a brat, I'm giving you the choice. I guess we're continuing. That doesn't look safe at all. This is a box. You can put things in the box. Why would you though? You can't use items. Sincerely, a box hater. So I'm guessing that they will push me down here. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. There's a tutu lying underground here. Will you take it? You got an old tutu. Finally, a protective piece of armour. Equip the old tutu. Suddenly light. Hi, 
Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Um, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Uh -huh. Did you fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What did you? Did I capture them? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, creepy. Uh, so, Iris, there's no response. Yo, did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. <clears throat> when four bridge seats align in the water, they will sprout. bridge Aaron flexes in <laughs> okay flex or shoe this seahorse has a lot of horsepower all of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Jig all you want. Ah! Ah! Aaron is sweating pellets, literally. <laughs> you flex, Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flex in context, okay, flex more. Ah. Ah. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder, Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice, I won't lose though. Ready for your next flex. Um, you flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You <laughs> have 30 gold. The bell, the blossom, well, the bell blossom can call bridge seats back to where they started. Okay. And I can use them to 
down here. doesn't align of course of course of course of course four needs to align before it works Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! <laughs> okay then. Rude, I was just curious. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. I oh, got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. <laughs> a long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped all if you hoped with all your heart your wish would come true. Now all we have are those <coughs> these sparkling stones on the ceiling. The wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua shuffles up. Clean touch or joke? This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Out, down, spook! Ah! 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 <laughs> it's rinsing off a pizza. Um. So this may even feel bad, so I guess clean? It hops around excitedly. Clean means clean! The green means clean! Ah. One half of the bicycle. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Oh. 
they don't want to fight me, so... Spare. <coughs> but they do sexy wiggles. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. As an illustration of a strange key creature, there's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh! Hey, come back here. I did not want to go over. Come back. Very well. The blue men not move. <laughs> Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face again! Man, are you lucky? Are you unlucky? <coughs> If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure you'll see her again. This cheese has been here so long a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day attract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. If you've made it over here, you can tell me how to get back. There's an odd looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yes. Okay. Red. Ooh, pretty. Why do I have a... Why do I have a blue eye? Since when do I have a blue eye? Oh, it's him. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. 
Uh, so he tricked me into using the telescope and now my eye is blue. The ancient glyphs has been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. There's a box storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just for 25G. Yes. Super, here you go. Uh, your card is in the box. You got the ice cream. Yes. You got a punch card. Used to make a punching attack stronger in one battle. Okay. Use outside a battle to look at the card. Okay. Well, I'm not going to use it for punching, so. Please, please come back. Ah. <laughs> Unicycle. <laughs> uh, guess I'll put the unicycle in. Or unicycle. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. <coughs> this way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Hey, Aaron flexes in. Let's out flex him. Ah! Different attack this time. Ah! Flex harder. You love silly. Ah. 
It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You got the ballet shoes. Weapon attack 7. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Shua shuffles up. No, oh, I didn't want to fight you. Clean. Green means clean. Ah. It's rinsing off a pizza. Got twenty five gold. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Um... Just you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you're here. Um. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? That's great here. Huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but he, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in the crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Aww. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear, Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around, have a good time. In waterfall. Okay then. Oh, what's this now? Shirin hides in the corner, but somehow encourage, encounters you anyway. <clears throat> Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Taps a little beat with her fins. I'm now vulnerable to electric attacks, okay. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything, so, uh, hum. Follows my melody. Ah. 
seems much more comfortable singing along. In the northern room hides a great treasure. Mm-hmm. Left down, right up. There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Haunting song echoes in the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. In which corridor? Haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? <coughs> Only the first eight are fine. Also, you are a silly kitty. Hi, Onion Sam. Did you hear? Get back. I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band. You hear? It's called Red Hot Chi Chippy Peppers. <laughs> All I've thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Welcome, Book. Okay, that's going to be hard to do. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. No, Kitty said that I should stay up, so now I'm staying up. It's the statue. The statues at its feet seem dry. Can 
Please take one. Take an umbrella. You took an umbrella. Yes. Inside the statue, a music begins to play. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Difficult one. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs. Why am I carrying dogs? An annoying dog. <laughs> Why am I having an annoying dog? A little wild dog. It's fast asleep. <laughs> uh, drop my tough gro glove. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. I don't want to get rid of the dog. It's my dog now. Put the dog down on the ground. <laughs> the dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> the artifact is gone. That was brilliant.
No, you can't hold an umbrella either. <clears throat> if you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Let's go! Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I were a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Drummer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all our teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up our teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Tried to press a button, nothing happened. <laughs> What's that? Why are you stopping? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You want to see online, right? Climb up on my shoulders. Yo, you go up and on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of distant music box. It fills you with determination. In the end, it would hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken. Countless monsters were turned to dust. Um. See what we gotta do. Run! 
Um, It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Aura? Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognise. Just garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. A piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of wordsless garbage, garbage, it fills you with determination. Say. So, kitty, what do you say now? Bedtime yet? <laughs> well, in that case, a little bit longer than expected, but uh, thanks to everybody for showing up, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll continue from here next time. And continue the story. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.